hello everyone welcome back to the channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to recover a data from a dead laptop either laptop or desktop and especially this video is all about how to recover data from a ssd all right so here is lenovo idiopet 320s regardless the model you know it could be anything as long as it have 2.5 inch set hard drive 3.5 inch SATA hard drive, SATA SSD or M.2 or NVMe SSD and this video would be useful for them. So first of all we need to get access into the main board to pull out the actual data storage. It could be as I said SSD or HDD. As you know this uh, Lenovo IdeaPer 320S comes with M.2 SSD. Alright so first of all we're going to pull out the back cover and pull out the actual storage and then we'll connect into any enclosure if SATA SSD then SATA enclosure or if M.2 M.2 enclosure you can get it easily from Amazon anyway all right and then we'll plug into another donor laptop where we can get access to the file now you might have a question what about if my Windows was password protected Surprisingly, you know, either the Windows or iOS from Apple, any operating system, as long as it's not protected by any special encryption, then you can get access. The user password doesn't give you any obstacle to recover the data, which is really funny and surprising. Okay, so as you can see, I'm already inside the laptop. I'm taking out M.2 SATA SSD. First, I'm going to disconnect the battery and then we'll get into the main point. So now I'm going to remove the SSD. Once it's removed, either this is M.2 or NVMe. I bought an enclosure for it. The enclosure costs so much, around £34, which is a lot for an enclosure. You can get a cheaper one, £25 on. But I choose this uh, pluggable one because this is much more easier. You don't need any screwdriver or anything. It's like kind of, uh, you know, retractable one. You can, and also it comes with type C to C cable. C connection is much more faster. So as you can see, I'm plug it in and there is a little a elastic knob. I don't need to put any screws or anything. Then just slide in inside, kind of telescopic function. And either you can connect the type C to C if your laptop does have. And if not, then you can use type C to USB 3.0 all right so once the enclosure connected is going to give you an indication with the blue light or it could it depend on your model and it takes little bit of time to read as you can see the red one the third one the windows so now from here if you get into the user folder from here you're going to find all the user profile there the public one has nothing the bottom one does have everything all the data so choose the correct username and once you choose then you need to open it up through administrative it's going to take a little bit of time the actual duration depend on if this is ssd or hdd if ssd is going to be much more quicker and if hdd it takes a little bit of time so from here as you can see all the desktop and everything those are from the correct user so I'm going to copy one by one. So what I'm going to do now, I have secondary uh, storage device inside the laptop. I'm going to open up the D drive, which is the middle one. And then I'm going to create a new folder with the name. So make sure you just not forget. So I'm going to write SSD backup Lenovo because SSD from my Lenovo laptop okay so now on the right hand side the target SSD and on the left hand side the destination where I'm gonna you know pull out all the data and store it so from the left hand side one I'm gonna select all of them just drag and drop into the new folder now it's gonna copy one by one so First, I copied everything from the desktop to desktop and then I'm going to do another one. 
so it depend on your data where it is you definitely know the location if you don't know you can copy everything especially if you do it yourself then definitely it's going to be much more easier because you know the data location but if you don't know if you do for somebody else then you can organize it okay why i was creating one by one just not to mess it up imagine when you do use any data recovery software it gives you everything it's kind of a messed up right okay so in that way you can get more clear view from your data so as you can see i done already desktop all of them finish it took about 10 to 15 minutes and then i'm going to go back to documents and i'm going to create another folder which is called documents and then with the same procedure i'm going to copy it now, now let me tell you the advantages to follow this procedure first of all you don't need to use any sort of data recovery software which is really really expensive so in that way you are almost paying nothing only for the enclosure if you do have already then you don't have to buy again second thing is this one you don't need any sort of data recovery knowledge or expertise okay and it's super easy and in that way you know that where is the data and what you are copying you can see everything you know so that's pretty much easy uh, that's how I do it you know as long as your drive is fine you can do that and another point is you know I, I found in my experience sometimes our devices get broken before the warranty period so let's say if the manufacturer warranty one year if your laptop get broken you know less than a year then obviously you can claim your warranty right in that way they're not going to take any responsibility for your data and if you want to send it back to the manufacturer they're going to destroy your data anyway then I'm going to take responsibility so in that way easily without wasting your time you can recover all of your data right and you can send it back or let's say if you do have any sensitive information let's say you don't want to uh, leave it to somebody else or you don't want to ship it to the manufacturer to get your warranty or something else in that way you can format the drive it's super simple you know either way it's very beneficial so I hope you did enjoy this video. Still, if you do have any question, please make sure you leave it in the comment section. And I hope you would subscribe to my channel if you do like this video. And once the recovery done, we can pull out the actual SSD or HDD, whatever it is, from the enclosure and put it back there. And the job is absolutely done. So, thank you so much for your time, guys. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.